What's up guys, David from Unqualified Critics with some news from At Games. And whether or not you're into the Legends Ultimate, you either are or you aren't. A lot of people are excited about that cabinet and love it, swear by it. There's a reason why it's perennially sold out, but for some people it's not for them. Well, this is a different product entirely. This is the At Games Legends Pinball. And you can see from this email, we don't have a ton of information, except we have a lot of specs. And we know that this is a pinball table, given those specs. And it's at games, so we can expect, I think, that they're going to use this as a platform to offer us content, things like subscriptions for more tables. And I fully expect them to sell us permanent access or ownership to virtual tables as well. And that's something I've said in a video before, at games should do a Legends pinball and I didn't call it a legends pinball but they should do a virtual pinball and they ought to sell us tables the tables we want to buy and do a multi cave pinball style cabinet I do think this is going to be a big part of at games strategy going forward I think if it were up to them they probably would just do the legends ultimate put all their resources into a multi cab but arcade one up has done a good job with differentiated cabinets and that's going to force at games to do differentiated multi cabinets and that means one for pinball we've got our general cabinet with the legends ultimate and i do think eventually we'll get a racing or a shooting multi cab and for their part at games has forced arcade one up to adjust their strategy too we see that with arcade one up talking about dlc we see see it with them talking about online play connectivity firmware updates so those things i believe are largely a reaction to at games so you can see how these two companies are starting to affect each other but the outcome, I believe, is overall a better offering of products for all of us, the consumers. Let's go through these specs real quick. It's coming out in Q4 2020. That's exactly when we can expect the Arcade One Up pinball. It's also when we can expect the upgraded Toy Shock pinball. Now, this might be confusing, but Toy Shock has an existing pinball they released last winter. And they're going to do a sort of partial update to that. And they're going to release that this summer. But this fall or this winter... Toy Shock is doing a deluxe version of the cabinet with better features like a color DMD back box screen, a larger play screen potentially, and just overall better performance and at a higher price point. So this fall, if you want a mid-level home virtual pinball machine, you're going to have options from three different companies now. Price at $599.99. I believe that is more than we'll see from Arcade One Up. At Toy Fair, the CEO of Arcade One Up told us $500 was the price, but they've previously said between $500 and $600. I don't think they'll do $600. I think they're going to try to beat, especially now, I think they would be incentivized to come in a little lower than at games. So this is going to be the premium model of the three. Let's look at dimensions. I wish I could compare this to Arcade One Up, but unfortunately, nobody knows the exact size of it. Some people have seen it in person, but I don't think anyone's actually measured it. So how this compares to the Arcade One Up, I couldn't tell you, but we can compare it to the Toy Shock. The Toy Shock, and you can see on screen, this is, by the way, length by width by height. The Toy Shock is 51 by 30 by 17. That's considerably smaller. I would say that's about 80% of the size of this, 67 by 38 by 23. But we know this is bigger than Toy Shock. Let's compare it to a standard pinball table. So let's compare this to a full-size table. Looking at the Stern Star Wars cabinet, that one is 69 inches by 48 inches by 27 inches. So we're really talking about 90, 95% um, of the size of a full-size cabinet. I mean, this is substantially large and substantially larger than the Toy Shock we've already seen. 32 inch LCD monitor, that's a good size. If you were building a virtual pinball on your own, that'd be a good place to start. And that's in contrast to the 24 inch from the $399 price point Toy Shock. The back box will have a 14 inch LCD. I'm glad they're announcing the dimensions because Arcade One Up's been really all over the place with how big that screen will be. They've talked about an eight inch. They've talked about, I think a 10 inch. We don't know exactly how big it will be, but it seems like this is larger than what Arcade One Up will give us. 14 inch incidentally is the same size that Toy Shock teased for their ultra cabinet that they're going to do this winter. Now that number isn't confirmed. They're still in the planning stages, but 14 inch seems to be the most we can expect. And that's really getting you the size of DMD that you would get in a real pinball table. So I think that's a great place to start. This 
Table will have Wi-Fi. Of course it'll have Wi-Fi. That goes without saying. It'll have Ethernet, which is going to get a lot of people excited. And I question how many of you have Ethernet in your game rooms, but I guess some of you do. It definitely doesn't hurt to have more ports. It has USB. Not sure what this would be. I guess maybe if you wanted to load your own tables like we do with the Legends Ultimate uh, over a local connection, maybe to install updates manually. guess that makes sense since this is part of that Legends platform. Bring your own game. That's great that this works here. I've seen several people do a bring your own game with the normal Legends Ultimate and play pinball through their Steam connection. Play like Pinball FX or something. It's a cool idea. I was never that interested in it because we get a widescreen in the Legends Ultimate. What we really need is a long, narrow, uh, vertically oriented screen here. And that's what we're going to get. Online share party play. So we don't have any details other than the name, but this sounds to me, if I was going to guess, like you're going to be able to play with a friend. They can watch you play on their screen and then it's their turn. You're taking turns back and forth and you're able to watch the movement of their gameplay on your screen. So that's pretty neat. Physical plunger. Yes. So that's kind of shot across the bow at Arcade One Up. I think if Arcade One Up smart, they're going to sub out that doofy arcade button they're currently using and put a virtual plunger on their pinball table we're going to find out more wednesday we'll get the specs and i really hope it does come with the plunger but everyone else is doing a plunger including even toy shock adjustable legs so this is important to people there are two classes of people that want adjustable legs on their arcade products there are people that want to raise the height and then there are people that simply want to dial it in so it's basically level i fall in that latter category this ought to be the proper pinball height and it basically is if you look at these specs. So pinball machines are a standard height and it works for everybody. I think we ought to stick with that. I think it makes sense to have adjustability, but I don't see you know adjusting it a foot or more. If you give us an inch of travel on all four sides, and that's a great place to start. So we can dial this in so it sits perfectly level on our floors. And live streaming, that's pretty cool. Pinball is something that there's a real community around virtual pinball. There are a lot of people that like to play this and kind of compete. Being able to live stream, that makes sense. Now, that's probably to be expected since they're already doing it for the Legends Ultimate. But it is nice to see here that the innovation and updates the Legends Ultimate platform have brought are being carried over in a lot of ways to this new Legends pinball product. Interested to hear what you guys think. So think about this winner. We get to pick between the Legends pinball now the Toy Shock Basic for 400, the Toy Shock Ultra, which I think will be about 500, and then the Arcade One Up Pinball, which I think will be about 500. There's a lot still here to discuss. What we don't know is, is this screen recessed? That's a feature of the Arcade One Up that I love. I think that's actually the best part of that whole table. Although they do say they have a glass cover, which is awesome, much better than the plastic you get with Toy Shock. We don't know how many tables are included. We don't know what the pricing will be. If you're paying for ArcadeNet subscription, which I know they're not selling that yet, but when they start doing an ArcadeNet subscription for the Legends Ultimate, will that subscription carry over here and you can get more tables? We don't know. I think it probably should. There's definitely an opportunity for At Games to set up an incentive for you to have multiple products of theirs and then have that one unified subscription that you really just have to pay for one time. But the big question is, we also don't know exactly the details of Arcade One Up. We do now know from an IGN leak that they will be announcing Virtual Pinball Wednesday this week. That's June 10th, depending on when you're watching this video. And they're going to announce a new table that we haven't heard of previously. But I don't know if they're going to be announcing final tech specs. I think, though, they probably need to. The market is moving forward. Arcade One Up's been really stingy with information lately, so they need to come with info. At Games has provided this much information. I hope they get to show the table soon. Certainly once they do, I'll be on top of it and I'll let you guys know. Let me know below what you guys think. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. And if you're enjoying the channel, hopefully I earn your subscription. Hit that sub button and it'll make it easier for you to find future videos and stay on top of everything Arcade. I'll talk to you again real soon. Dripping lights, paint the sky